So now that we've mastered single character regular expressions, let's look into gluing them together. We're going to need to find important bits of punctuation, like slash greater than or equals equals, to reason about JavaScript and HTML and thus write our web browser. Thus, we really need the ability to concatenate or put right next to each other and repeat regular expressions. Well, with regular expressions, that's actually as simple as just writing two regular expressions next to each other. This matches the string a1, a2, b1, b2, c1, and c2, six strings in all. In each one, the first letter comes from the first regular expression, and the second letter, one or two, matches the second part of the regular expression. We've concatenated a through c and one through two together to match more complicated strings. You may have noticed that we suddenly had quite a few strings from a relatively small regular expression. In fact, if we put 0 through 9 next to 0 through 9, there are a huge number of strings that we would match. 100 in total. Just as this matches 10 and this matches 10, when you put them together, you match 10 squared strings. So let's look for a two-digit number in the string July 28, 1821. Here's a two-digit number, here's a two-digit number, and here's another one. So we'll end up getting 28. 18 and 21. Now I'm looking for two digit numbers in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2 is a two digit number, 3, 4 is a two digit number, but 5 actually does not qualify. This regular expression requires that both of its subparts be matched. July 28th, 1821 is a good day for Peruvian independence. Let's brush up on matching these compound regular expressions. Down here, I've written a Python fragment, a Python program involving re.findall. We're looking for a through z followed by 0 through 9 in this artificially constructed string designed to be a bit tricky. a1 space 2b space cc3 space 44d. I'm going to write out a bunch of possible answers, and I want you to tell me, check all that apply, which of the following are elements of the return value of this expression. Here I've written nine possibilities. Check each one that's a member of the list that's returned by this Python expression.